Hey Math Wizards, it's Miss Kanji here. I just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page uh, with rounding and how it works um, and how we can think about it. So um, let's get started right away. I'm going to show you some examples and how you can uh, think about it in order to get the correct answer. So here we go. If you are asked to round 38 to the nearest 10, it's helpful to think about a car and like a mountain or a hill. Um, and the reason why we're going to do that is it's going to help us to know which um, number to round to. So if I write down the number 38 here and I create a little bit of like a hill or a mountain, my first thought and my first idea is I'm trying to think about what two friendly tens are in between 38. Because you know how 38 is um, ones and tens. There's three tens and there's eight ones. So what friendly tens uh, is 38 in between? And when I say tens, I know it ends in zero. So I can put the zeros there. And my clue here is that the first one is 30. 38 is between 30 and 40. And then right in the middle of 30 um, and 40 is 35. That's going to be the middle point. Now I just have to put this 38 somewhere. This is where my car is going to be. 38 is more than 35, so it's somewhere over here. So here's where my car is. And if I was holding the brake on the car and I let it go, that car is just going to come down to 40. It's not going to magically go back up the hill and come back down. It's not going to magically go here. It's going to fall to 40. So 38 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 40. If you, left, you, you lift your leg off the brake at 38, it's going to fall down to 40. Let's do another example. Again, if you have 52 and you need to round it to the nearest 10, think about a car and think about a hill or a mountain. You can write down 52, create a mountain, and your first thinking is what two tens, friendly tens, is 52 in between? Well, I know they're going to have zeros because they're friendly tens. The first one is going to be, here's my clue, it's going to be between 50 52 is between 50 and 60, and then right in the middle of 50 and 60 is 55. And now, putting 52 on this hill where the car is going to go, well, it's less than 55, so it's about here. This is where 52 is. So if I let that car go, if I take my foot off the brake, it's going to fall down to 50. It's not going to magically go up the hill and back down to 60. So I know that 52 rounds to 50. I can see it on my mountain here. Let's do another example. So 75 rounded to the nearest 10. Again, I'm going to think about a car and a hill. I'm going to put 75 here, create a little mountain, and I'm thinking 75 is between which friendly 10s? 10s end in 0. My clue for the first one is that it's going to be 70 and the next 10 would be 80. So I'm in between 70 and 80, and right smack in the middle is 75. Hmm, and that's where my car is. So if it's right in the middle and I let that break off, is it gonna go down to 80 or down to 70? The rule is that if it's smack in the middle, the car is gonna roll down to the bigger number. So 75 rounds to 80. The rule is that if it's in the middle, it's going to go to the bigger number. So 75 rounds to 80. Uh, let's do one more example. And I want you to see that now we're with 332. We're still rounding to the nearest 10. So we're still going to use the car and the hill, and we're still going to be thinking about our 1s and 10s. The 100s is there as well, but we're going to really keep in mind the 1s and the 10s. So 332, you can still make your same hill, and you still need your friendly um, numbers down here. So they do end in 0. And you're still kind of looking at 32, as if the 3 is not there. The 300 is not there for a second. 32 is in between. Again, I have my, if I have my place value. 32 is in between 30 and 40. And then we can bring in the 100, the 300. So 330 and 340 
332 is between that, and right in the middle would be 335. So 332 would be less, so it would be about here. So if I have the car and I let the brake off, it's going to fall down to 330. It's not going to magically go up the hill and back down to 340. So 332 would round to 330. And again, keep in mind those um, ones and tens right here, those were, we used the same strategy as we did um, in the other questions. So 332 rounds to 330. We'll do one final example. Again, you're thinking about a car and a hill. Even though it's a three digit number, we can use the same thinking. 488, if we make our hill, and we're thinking what friendly numbers are in between the 488, and we're thinking about it in 10. So we're really looking at this 88 here. Well, 88 um, is between 80 and 90, and then you can bring in the four. So 480, 490, and right in the middle would be 485. And this is 488, so that's bigger than 485. So 488, if, here's a car. If I let the car go, take off my brake, it's going to go down to 490. It's not going to go magically back up and down the hill to 480. So 488 would round to 490. I hope this video is helpful. Uh, please watch as many times as you need, um, and thanks for watching.